In today's video, I'm going to break down probably my favorite passing concept in Madden NFL 21 because of the resemblance it gives to a concept I used to run several years ago. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about helping myself and helping you get better at Madden 21. We do that through tips, through strategies. I try to learn every single thing that I possibly can about this game in order to give you the best tips in the community and the most up-to-date blitzes, money schemes, tactics, and tools so that you can be more effective in Madden NFL 21. And so if that's something that interests you, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, one of the things that I wanted to do today is I wanted to talk about this Y off trips pass formation. Now we gave you a play earlier that I really, really liked, but I wanted to share with you kind of my favorite version of it and it's very similar but it actually goes in a different direction uses the same exact motion but you're going to be doing a couple of little bit of different things now for those of you that don't know one of my favorite passing concepts in madden every single year is the levels concept now effectively what the levels concept is is it's essentially taking the inside slot receiver and putting him on some type of deep dig route right some type of you know 10 yard in route 15 yard in route uh, the depths vary based on the team that you're playing on uh, but that's basically what i really really like to do and then you have a backside your outside receiver is typically running on some type of little baby like drag in route little five yard um, under route it's, it's really about three yards and if you run it right um, the spacing on it is really really effective and it's a simple yard gainer this concept is something that peyton manning utilized um, when he was in the Colts and he was also with the Broncos, um, this was probably his favorite play as well. And uh, I just want to break this down. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this concept from the play tight end whip. Now tight end whip is one of the most powerful plays in Madden 21. Obviously you get two very powerful post routes. You get a tight end whip route. You get this little snap throw out route to the back and you get that nice little under route or China route um, to that slot receiver. Now the setup for this play is very simple. It's nothing complex and it's not going to blow your mind away. But what I think you'll find with this play is this play is going to consistently get you positive yards and I guarantee it and I guarantee it's going to get you um, simple routes, simple rubs, and simple um, yard gainers against any defense. Now this comes straight out of our New England Patriots offensive ebook. If you want to pick up the ebook, the link is in the description. All we're going to do is we're going to take this outside receiver on the right and we're going to put him on either a curl or a fade. If we think they are in cover two, uh, like the zone coverage, we'll put him on a fade. If we think they're in man or anything other than cover two, we're going to put him on a, a curl. I probably put him on a curl about 85% of the time. The next thing we're going to do with our running back, and this is up to you, you can either put him on a wheel route, you can put him on a flat route if you have a backfield master, or you can put him on a block and release, or you could simply block him. All of those are options. I personally like to put him on a flat route or a wheel route. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be putting him on a wheel route. You don't need any abilities to run this version of the setup, which is really, really nice. You can use this with the Packers. And I'm telling you, with, with Aaron Rodgers and maybe having like um, Tavon Austin in the slot, it is really, really effective. So all we're going to do is we're going to motion Scotty Miller to the left. And what you're going to see here is we're going to have a high-low between the post and between Scotty Miller's route. Now, Scotty Miller's route you're going to see is going to get really unique inside position and separation against man-to-man -man coverage, especially if you motion snap him. Man-to-man -man coverage is not going to be able to hang with this, not at any level. In Mutt, if they try to guard you in man-to-man, -man, especially if you have a good route running receiver on that outside, that's a simple pass lead to the inside, and as you can see, you're going to be able to get 10 to 15 yards per clip. The other thing that I really like about this play is this tight end whip route. This tight end whip route is really unique. It's, it's not something you can hot route. You have to only have specific plays. And what you'll notice is this thing is going to absolutely torch man-to-man -to -man coverage. Right there, an 80, I think it's like 75 speed, 80 speed. Rob Gronkowski was able to torch 95 speed uh, Perry Nickerson. And so as you can see, I mean, this is just something very, very simple. Now, with the movement of this formation, you're going to notice that this slot receiver on the inside is also not going to get pressed as much. It's going to be more difficult for the defense to press them when you're running this motion snap. And so because he's not going to get pressed, even if he was getting pressed, you'll see here, if they try to press him on the inside, they're going to defend it a little bit better. But what you'll notice is he's going to get inside separation and he's going to be wide open against man-to-man -man coverage. As far as the curl route is concerned on the right side, and that's what I think is so cool, pretty much every single route 
is going to torch man to man or just uh, work the ball up the field against man to man coverage. What you'll see on this left side is you're just going to low ball, pass lead inside, click on an aggressive catch, that curl route. Very simple little man beater. Um, you know, it's been pound for pound, one of the most dominant routes uh, in Madden 21 this year. Obviously, if you put him on a fade, he's not going to be uh, open against man unless he beats the press. But what I also like is this little quick route to the back. Um, and I wouldn't, like I said, I. I normally probably put him on a wheel route more than I put him on a flat. So we'll show you a wheel route. But basically, if you see this left side linebacker not shoot out to the running back, then just throw this quick. And sometimes you can actually get this ball upfield and be able to get out. But this is more of a zone pool. It's not necessarily designed against man. Again, if you're facing man-to-man -man coverage, the routes that you want to be hitting is you want to be hitting those four other routes on the play. And really the biggest route you want to hit is you want to hit that route to Scotty Miller. As you can see, it's going to really do a good job for you against man-to-man. -man. I want to show you this against press or um, shaded coverage over top man. And basically everything that worked is going to work even, even, even better um, against shade over top. You see right here, this little route to Scotty Miller is going to just consistently move the ball forward uh, for you against man-to-man -man coverage. Very, very simple and very, very easy. The other thing that you're going to be able to do is your uh, left side post is going to get uh, even more separation against man-to-man -man as well. As you'll see right here, he's going to get off the jam. There's no jam whatsoever. He's going to instantly be able to, to get in. Now, the one player that um, I would say, you know, doesn't necessarily benefit from off coverage would be the tight end. You'll see the corner is going to play him a little bit better, but he still roasts him, as you can see, and you're able to air truck and basically move the ball right up the field against man-to-man -man coverage. And then the last receiver that I wanted to break down as far as man-to-man -man coverage goes, especially in a shaded coverage over top type of world, is this curl route to the outside. Now, because you have that tight end whip route, that's going to pull all of the zones away, but basically all you're going to do is you're going to low pass that right on the cut if you want to beat man-to-man. -man. Typically, I don't really need, ever get to this read. It's my fourth read on this on this play. Essentially, I'm going to look to the in route first, then I'm looking to the post, and I'm looking to the whip. But if, for whatever reason, I have that, you see I'm going to just click on the receiver and aggressive catch it against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, I want to show you zone coverage. The meta coverage is no different. Every single route that I showed you is still going to work against any meta man-to-man -man coverage with purples or any zones that they throw on the field. They're really not going to do anything against the routes that I just showed you. Now what I want to do is I want to show you this against zone coverage. This thing torches cover two. What you'll notice about this little post route is it's going to pull the yellow zones with him, and you're going to be able to throw that little dig, little, in, little again, it's, I think it's, from my research I did on this route, it's pretty much called a China route, I believe. Um, some people call it different things, but this little baby in route, you know, as you can see here, he's going to wrap around, do that little cut, and then he's going to cut right underneath here and get you simple three to four to five to six to seven to eight to ten to fifteen yards a clip against that cover two defense. Now what that's going to cause the defense to have to do is they're going to have to start shading their coverage down. They're going to have to start playing a little bit more aggressive. Um, but what you'll notice here is this route to Scotty Miller as I end up running the wrong coverage there. Um, this route to Scotty Miller when he comes across especially if you tag that wheel that wheel route on the left side to this um, you're going to notice here that you can actually throw this ball against that anyways because of the depth of the formation because of the post route in the middle of the field the defense is not going to immediately just jump down at scotty miller obviously if they do you're going to have your backside post route open but what you'll notice here is that wheel route's going to hold that other route and then you're going to see here i can throw this post route right over the middle of the field to Chris Godwin in a situation where they're shading coverage down. I want to show you this one more time so you get a really good look because cover two is ultimately what everyone's going to try to do against you. And what you'll notice is a slot right out here. You see how that slot corner is not covering him. That's a shaded coverage down vert hook, which is the best type of hook zone that you can have for that type of situation. Next thing I want to do is I want to show you cover three and I want to show you that shaded down as well. And what you're going to notice here on this left side, this hook, again, these hooks and these little uh, underneath rests, they're not going to stop it. It's just a quick snap throw out there. I'm telling you, it's going to be open 99% of the time. They're going to basically have to use or defend that route. And the reason that that's significant is because they have to use or defend that route and because of the spacing of the play, they can't use or defend the post and the, and the uh, other route at the same time. And the spacing is absolutely perfect. As you can see, that post route is going to get in behind the zone coverages pretty much every single zone in the game.
Now, one thing I did want to show you is if you take that slot receiver and you put him on a fade, um, and I honestly, you know, sometimes it actually it actually works a lot better too for the spacing of the play. What you'll notice here against cover two is you can hit that with the pass lead outside and up, and you can swerve catch him up the sideline to be able to get a big play if they're running some type of cover two or underneath coverage on that side of the field. The reason that that is really important is let's say that they're running um, – you know, some type of just coverage defense, you know, I don't know what, and, and they basically run in user Scotty Miller. They really take him away well, right on that side. What you're going to notice is when you start to work backside, this route, uh, and of course Tom Brady gave me a really bad throw, but this route, this post route will actually come open late in the play, and you'll be able to hit this pretty consistently. Now, hopefully uh, I will get a good pocket presence. I'm going to try to climb the pocket here a little bit just to make sure that this works really well. But what you'll notice on this right side, again, once I wait for everything to kind of develop, and if I step up in the pocket here, you're going to notice right there I can pass lead that, and there's a clear window to be able to hit that even over, and that's a 20-yard curl flat that he's getting over every single time, which is really, really nice. And you can do that against cover three, but you can also do that against cover four. So, again, depending on what their user does, and in my research and, and just running this um, consistently, what I have seen is they are typically going to have to come down and they're going to have to use our Scotty Miller's route to stop it. And so because of that, that's going to leave this wide open void right here for you to hit that against cover three or cover four or cover two. It doesn't really matter. That fade's going to run off all of the outside zones and it's going to open that post out post route up for you uh, very, very nicely. Now, let's just say, for example, they're able to shut down that levels concept on the backside, which is very, very difficult to do. If you're running, um, if you're running, you know, that fade on that right side, what you'll notice is this whip route's just going to get open at different points. You can just check it down in the whip route if you need to. You know, if they blitz you off the edge, if they're not playing hard flats, if they're not whatever, you know, it's going to be tough to stop this. This, um, it's it's just, it's going to be tough to stop this. Now, if you mix in that curl a little bit, you know, and, and you know, let's just say you're kind of anticipating something that you're looking for here, maybe cover three or something, you'll notice that you can hit that curl very consistently late in the play. It's a nice little check down to be able to go to. So that is tight end whip. This is, this is only one version of it. We have several more versions of it, including an absolute cover three glitch in the ebook. But basically, guys, this tight end whip, in my opinion, is probably pound for pound one of the best uh, i think it's definitely in the top five for plays in madden 21 this year it's so good especially again when you use it in madden 21 you know it's 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 basically using this as a um using this as a simple yard gaining play right when you use it like that it really opens up for you now if you have not already picked up our new england guide I would highly encourage you to do so. The link is in the description. We have had so many people that have picked it up and have had some really, really great results from this guide. Um, I've got a text yesterday that a guy won a $200 money guide or money game using this New England Patriots ebook. It's won him a lot of money is what he said, and so he can't thank me enough. But those are some of the results that we're getting. We're getting guys that are in the top 100 uh, in Weekend League, getting guys that are winning their CFMs with this ebook. This ebook is really, really powerful. Like I said, it's over 300 pages with over 36 formation breakdowns and over 10 hours of video material. So it's a really di deep and dense guide, but it's also one of those guides that you can pick up today and by tonight, you will at least have one or two formations down that are going to allow you to be absolutely dominant on the offensive side of the ball. So here's the deal, what I wanted to say. Maybe you're still a little timid about picking up the guide. What I want to encourage you to do is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216-3644 and let me know that you would like to pick up a sample to the New England Patriots ebook. We have created two sample formations for you for 100% for free that we are giving out only to people who text in for it. So you have to text in to get it. But basically, just shoot me a text. Let me know you'd like to receive the video. I'll respond and I'll shoot you a link to those two videos as well as several other videos that we've done, including breakdowns from other playbooks that you can use in your own offensive scheme. But the bottom line is here, guys, the New England offense is the best offense in Madden 21. At least it's the most balanced and the deepest offense, in my opinion. And so I would highly encourage you, if you have not picked the ebook up, to go ahead today and pull out your cell phone, shoot me a text message, and let me know that you'd like to receive 
the sample formation so that you could at least check it out. It's completely free to get the sample. Nothing hurt at all. I'd really, really encourage it. Now, our next YouTube video is going to go live at 6 o'clock, and then we'll have one that goes live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. And then lastly, what I want to let you know is we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And so if you want to see me use this ebook live on stream in live online matches, I would highly encourage you to come by the stream. It's also really cool uh, just to come by, hang out, talk Madden with us. Uh, I answer questions live and I also play Madden with subscribers every single day. So if you want to challenge me in Madden, I'd love to play you and love to connect with you that way. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. And I hope this kind of made a little bit of sense as to why I believe the New England Patriots playbook is so powerful because of this primary passing concept that I believe is still one of the best passing concepts in Madden NFL history. Thank you so much for your time. And we will see you guys in our next video. And we'll also see you on our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.